everybody what's up it is Karen welcome back to my channel if you're new hello I'm really glad you clicked on this video I do hope by the end of it I will have won you over and you will become a part of the gem squad family and for my OGs hi super excited you're here so today obviously just got out of the shower got dressed I am getting ready to go take my son um, to this dinosaur event that we have in town and I started off by cleansing my face using that microdermabrasion I've showed you guys before and the e.l.f. putty primer, the new acne one that had come out. I like it. It definitely helps hold moisture into the skin. It is a silicone based primer. I'm also using Clinique's pore filling primer. Sometimes these will leave a residue, so you don't want to use too much. Basically where you have large pores and want to fill it, them in is where you would put it and leave it at that. And you definitely have to have moisturized skin. Otherwise, you'll see the residue on your face. and You don't want that. Okay, so I've got L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Full Coverage that I am putting on with a foundation brush, which is not always something that I do. But I do like this stipple motion. It definitely helps with having enlarged pores. It just makes things seem less texturized, if that makes sense. And I really enjoy it. So here I go, putting it everywhere. It has definitely been one of my favorite foundations lately to go to. All right, so I have NARS. Um, cream bronzer on my face as you can see and I have Jaclyn's light to medium concealer I did use her eye primer as well and today I'm going to do my concealer a little bit different kind of like the youtubers do it her concealer does dry down pretty fast but when you use it with her eye primer it doesn't dry down as fast so I definitely need that so we're going to go ahead and I damp into my beauty sponge We're going to press that into the skin and then get a little contour going on. I love the NARS cream contour so much. It's not red, it's not warm, doesn't drive me insane. I don't have the right brush right now, so I'm going to have to like do a little touch up here and there because the contour went down too far. But unlike most people would probably have edited out, I'm not. So you can see how I'm going to fix it. And it's just a quick, simple step. I didn't load on the foundation or the concealer because the more you put on your face, the more of a chance you have it seeping into lines. And also it can become cakey throughout the day. So I am just going to take the concealer just like I did and the damp beauty blender. And I'm going to go ahead and fix it to the way that I want it. All right, we need to grab Jacqueline's under eye powders. This is an exceptional product. So is the under eye primer. These are two items that I absolutely cannot live without. And unfortunately, I have been disappointed by the liquid lips and a few other of her launches so if you know if I'm recommending this it's definitely definitely good I use it every time I do my makeup and then I just take a brush and I kind of sweep it into caramel and almond are the ones I use the most but it definitely it makes my concealer last all day too and it doesn't settle into fine lines it's just I don't know just it's nothing short of like a miracle there especially at my age being 43 years old okay 43 years young is definitely how people should say it all right so now we've got her blush and bronzer duo and I forget the shade but it is a good one and of course we're going to grab a LaRousse brush and we're just going to gently put that blush on I'm loving it very pigmented but it also helps the skin look nice 
whatever's in this formula, I really like it. I also like her illuminating powders too. They're pretty amazing. All right, so the Flower Setting Powder by Beauty Bakery is definitely one of my favorites. So for me, it is, oh, we want to use the illuminating. I, oh my gosh, what shade is this? Brilliant! Before I go in with anything else. So now I have my two setting powders. Let's go ahead and put the luminous one on first. really want to buff it into the skin. It's nice and light, gives you a little bit of glow, not so much of a blurring effect, but definitely a little bit of glow and overall it just makes the skin look nice. Let's do some eye primer and I have chosen Thrive Cosmetics to use. I'm really liking their eye primer, but you need to set it. I'll be perfectly honest with you, it stays tacky. You've definitely got to set it or it's not gonna work. So I just take my finger and blend it in and then I go over it with a blending brush and just with that flower, Beauty Bakery powder and we're good to go. Okay, so let's set this and then we're going to move on. I was debating on which type of palette to use today, so I ended up using the Tarte Tartiest Pro Palette, which I believe it came out in like 2016. And we got it in BoxyCharm, the full size palette, I want to say one to two years ago, and it is such a great palette. I wish they didn't discontinue it. So that's the one that I'm going to be using today. This is where I decided to use that palette. I was going to do the Huda Mercury Retrograde again, but this is such an excellent palette. And I'm like really drawn to the dark colors, um, the dark green especially. So I start with the browns and I have a Luxie blending brush in my hand and I'm just putting that all over the transition area in my crease using circular motions, back and forth motions, whatever is needed to blend that out properly. I always start with the browns with this and doing circular motions or back and forth. Basically the transition area right, bro, right below the brow bone and right above the crease. All right, going in with an even darker brown. Let me see what brush I have. Ooh, that is, I think it's still Luxie. I'm loving the browns in this palette. They blend out so smoothly. And you know how I love a dark eye for sure. Take your time while you're blending. I think I'm gonna do a video soon of what eye brushes I use. I use several different brands when I do eye looks, but I know that you guys have asked about it. So I think I'll show each brush before I use it and uh, tell you exactly what it is. And we'll just really get into that for you guys and hope that it helps. I'm gonna skip some of the blending because you guys see my technique with blending my transition shades and beginning. And then I will show you obviously how I blend out the rest of the eye. Um, but I don't think it's necessary for you guys to see all of this unless you want to. Just put that down in the comments below. I wanna try and shorten my videos a little bit for you guys. My blending will take anywhere between five to seven minutes to do both eyes. It just depends on how well the shadows work and how dark I want to make them. Okay, this here is an MOTD blending brush. It has a little bit of a curve, so some of the bristles are shorter in one area and longer in, in the other, as you can see. And I use this to put the, that green, that dark matte color green 
um, towards the outside of my eye because that's kind of like the look that I'm going for today. So this brush is perfect to lay down the color and do a little bit of blending. And I like to flick my shadow, of course, towards the eye. Um, I think you guys know that too. It, it helps prevent me from going too far down with blending. So it's, we don't want to drag the eye down, especially with mature lids. We want to lift it up for sure. So let me know if you guys have, a lot of you said that you, that my tips are helpful, but let me know if they are. And um, let me know if you're struggling with anything in specific, because we can definitely do a video geared towards what you need. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing super, super well. If you guys have not seen my new video with the puppy adventure, you might want to check that out. It's just a little bit of what goes on here behind the scenes, and I love connecting with you guys. So let me know if you want to see more of that or more of something else on this channel. And you guys know I have a second channel too called a Swatch Investigator, um, where I do swatches, and I really kind of crack down on companies for using the same colors over and over again. Okay, so I've got a round crease brush right there, and basically what I'm doing is going over that color that I laid down that is the matte green, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with the shimmer of that same color, pretty much it's the same color, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Do you guys prefer more colorful looks or more neutral looks? Because I'm loving the neutrals lately. I do like a good pop of color on the eye, but oh, there we go with the shimmer. Look how pretty that is. This color, mm, I love it so much. And I know my Stacy with her greens, and there's a couple other of you that love those greens. So a shout out to you. Okay, so I'm just basically blending this with the outer part of my lid and in my crease to get that dark. It's gonna help make my eye look a little bit bigger, my lid anyway, and we wanna keep doing it in that motion to where the eye looks lifted. And mind you, this doesn't have to be perfect. You can always do cleanups at the end if necessary. Um, basically, I just want you to spend time blending and using the different brushes, figuring out what they're they're good for because it's not always cut and dry. Somebody says this is an eyeshadow brush. Yeah, great. You might be able to use it for highlight. It just depends. Okay, so I am spending about three to four minutes here doing this blending and I'm pretty sure you guys um, have this technique. You, you understand what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna skip a little bit ahead to the next color. I am using setting spray just in case you were wondering. I usually do when it comes to shimmers. All right, so I'm taking that same color and I'm moving it in towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm actually going to put this pretty much all over my lid and then use something for to brighten up the inner corner. So I'm just taking my time making sure the color doesn't bunch up and there is no separation in pigment. So you just see a nice flow of color. Okay, so let's make this eye look nice and smoky. Wait a minute, hang on, I gotta change the... Okay, so Becky G's brand of liner, the gel liner in black, Tress Loose Beauty or something like that. I'm basically just lining just above where my eyelashes are and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my round brush and blend that out. You can pretty much make any color smoky using this method. The black always darkens whatever shadow you put over it. So, I mean, it's not for every color, I'm gonna be honest, but for the most part, a lot of them you can use this method. And really, I'm blending and blending. Look at the difference. Isn't it crazy? Do you remember the 90s where no one blended? <laughs> we were all looking crazy. Definitely have setting spray on my brush that helps me move around the liner a bit. And I know that this looks like I'm being harsh with my eye, but I'm really not. It's just that I have mature eyelids and they move a whole lot, which is unfortunate. And I wish, I wish, I wish we could find 
a method of some type of skincare to fix that problem. So I'm going to spend another minute or two blending this and probably adding a little bit more pigment to the lid because it looks like there is some separation there and that's not what we want. All right, so I think I'm going to grab, yep, that's a Farrah brush. It's a blending brush. I'm not adding any color. I am just making sure that there's no harsh lines towards the end of my eye, the outer part. This look does not call for harsh lines, so we don't need harshness. And I did not add any color to this brush. It's just doing its job of blending what is already on my lid. All right, so I am back to using regular lashes. Those uh, Glamnetics and the other magnetic lashes do not last very long. The magnets do fall off and it can be a pain in the butt because then they don't sit right. So I am sharpening right now, probably a lip liner. One of my favorite lip combinations is by KKW Beauty. Her nude liner and lipstick is amazing. Okay, I also used, I think it's Hindash Black Liquid Liner for the wing on my eye, and I made it a little more dramatic, and I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. We're going to go nude with the lip, but the only thing that sucks about these lip liners is that you go through them because the damn end keeps falling off. Very irritating. Someone needs to let Kim know that these need to be made better, although the colors are bomb. Wait for it. Hmm. Okay. That is a crown brush. I love them. And I'm going in with Jacqueline's Beaming Highlight in Extra. And we are going to brighten up that inner corner. And you're going to start to see my satisfied face. Getting close to the end here. And uh, I love it. I love putting the finishing touches on my eyes. Let me get you a closer look so you can see this. All right, grab a Q-tip, blend it out. It doesn't have to go too far. Just make sure that it doesn't look like you just placed it there and then walked away, you know? All right, so the Milk Makeup has an illuminator. It is a really subtle highlight. I absolutely love this for mature skin. It goes so nicely and smoothly over pretty much any foundation, and it just gives you a nice little glow. It's not like that blinding effect. Um, I'm not really so into the blinding highlight anymore. I really do like the subtle, especially if you have texture on your skin. So yeah, and you can go over it a little bit with um, another highlight if you do want it a little bit brighter, which is like what I think I do in this video because I'm used to having a highlight you can see, although I am trying to steer away from it. But yeah, I put a tiny little bit of powder over it and it just makes such a huge difference. But it works so well with textured skin. So that Milk Makeup that I hadn't used that I've now discovered is awesome. Yeah, love it. One of my favorite lip glosses is the Winky Lux. I love the scent. And it is really just like a nice non-sticky lip gloss that I really do enjoy. And I'm just putting that over the nude KKW Beauty lipstick. And I think we're pretty much done. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys real soon in another video. Bye!